हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज टॉपिक और डिस्कशन इज इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स एडेप्शन इन इंडिया इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स हैव बिकम इंक्रीजिंगली पॉपुलर वर्ल्ड वाइड एज पीपल सीक टू रिड्यूस द कार्बन फुटप्रिंट एंड प्रोटेक्ट द इन्वायरमेंट इन इंडिया द गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑल्सो बीन प्रमोटिंग द अडोपशन ऑफ ई वीज एज अ वे टू रिड्यूस द कंट्रीज डिपेंडेंस ऑन फॉजल फ्यूल्स एंड कर पोल्यूशन In this video, let us examine the progress made in EV adoption in India and the challenges that still need to be overcome. Now let's talk about the current scenario. As per the latest data available with the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, India has shown a gradual increase in its electric vehicle fleet with a total of 13,92,265 EVs on the road as of August 3, 2022. However, despite government subsidies, the actual sale of electric three-wheelers stand at a meager fifteen point one seven percent, and for four-wheelers, it is just ten point seven three percent of the numbers of EVs that were supported under FAME scheme. FAME India scheme basically stands for Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Hybrid and Electric Vehicles in India. is a government scheme launched in 2011 as a part of the national mission on electric mobility the second phase of the fame scheme aimed at subsidizing electric vehicles has only achieved 52% of its target of supporting 1.56 million vehicles with just one year left for the five year scheme the progress is less than satisfactory A parliamentary standing committee on heavy industry has recommended extending the phase 2 of fame scheme stating that supporting only 1.56 million EVs is inadequate for a country like India. Now let us talk about the challenges. One of the biggest challenge is the lack of charging infrastructure. EV charging stations are still scarce in many part of the country. making it difficult for ev owners to find a charging point when they need it secondly the high cost of evs compared to conventional vehicle is a significant barrier to adoption for many people the range anxiety issue which is the fear of running out of charge while driving is still a concern for many potential ev buyers then ev technology requires specialized skill and knowledge which may be lacking in the indian workforce the lack of skilled technicians can lead to a shortage of trained personnel to maintain and repair evs hindering their widespread adoption now let's see the way forward the government has allocated 800 crore rupees to oil marketing companies for setting up 7432 public fast charging stations but this may not be sufficient given the size of the country according to estimates of international energy agency india will need at least 2.6 million public charging stations by 2040 to meet the growing demand for electronic vehicles this means that there is a need for further investment in charging infrastructure both by the government and private players to ensure that evs can become a viable and convenient mode of transportation for all secondly the government can offer more incentives and tax breaks for evs to reduce their cost this will encourage more people to consider buying evs and accelerate the transition to a cleaner mode of transportation third point is that the government and private players need to invest in training programs to develop the necessary skills for maintaining and repairing evs this will create more job opportunities and help address the shortage of skilled technicians in the country next is that the government and private players can take steps to promote the adoption of evs in india by investing in research and development of ev technology improving its performance reducing its cost and increasing its appeal to consumers additionally launching campaigns to raise awareness about the benefits of evs and dismiss myths and misconceptions can help encourage more people to adopt them and pave the way for a cleaner and more sustainable future overall opportunities to overcome challenges to ev adoption in india exist with government incentives like 
fame and charging stations being steps in the right direction however more investment in infrastructure and research and development is required along with awareness campaigns to encourage more people to switch the government the private sector and citizens must work together to create a cleaner and sustainable future thank you for watching comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this